Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna and I crochet and do uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous things. So don't ask, dude. All right, so you guys are just gonna have to look at that because um, if you know me, you know that my hair. What the hell? So that's why, that's why uh, things just stay the way that they are. My brain is going a thousand miles per hour because I currently have a Celsius in my body. Anyways, so today um, I turned on the camera because I find that I stay super motivated when the camera's on because then I feel like I have to produce something rather than when the camera's off and I'm like, nah, I'll worry about that later. Um, so today... I have a checklist and I want to get that done. If I don't get it done, <sighs> what's the consequence? Um, Self-destruction mentally, you know, the usual. It is currently one o'clock, like a dreary day outside. So more of an excuse not to go outside and have fresh air and just stay in the house. The first thing on my list is I need to get done my beta fish pattern. So I haven't showed this on camera yet, but I created a pattern and it is for this chubby little beta fish. I call it a beta fish because um, I don't know. I don't think this qualifies as a goldfish. And I feel like I kind of used the fin placement. Um, I used a beta fish picture. I'm actually really impressed with myself. Um, because of the fins and stuff because I typically just work in rounds but these are worked in like rows and I gave it like chubby little cheeks and yeah I'm actually just like really happy with this and so I started writing up a pattern which I write my patterns up in Canva I don't pay for it though because um I feel like you can get good use out of it without paying for the pro um Maybe I will later on, but it's just not applicable right now. But so I need to, everything's written up. I've followed it through two more times. So I have two more beta fish. I love the black fins on this though. Um, nightmare to work with, but like, that's sick. <coughs> Excuse me. Who, who did that? Nasty. This one, I ran out of blue. So, oh, what is this? Why is this not tucked in? That's embarrassing. But I ran out of blue, so the little, like, these are called ventral fins. I had to look up the anatomy of a fish. I'm educated now. This is called an anal fish, or fin. Ugh. Dude, I just said I was educated, and then I messed up. Um, This is an anal fin. Um, Don't be inappropriate. Don't laugh at that. This is educational. And then... um the other fins so so i have three fish wow and i actually have for oh sorry i moved the camera i have for the first time i have someone testing my pattern which is one of my friends from school and she crochets and like is a very big supporter of me shout out Alyssa. um uh, and um so i'm having her test it because like she's she knows how to crochet and like is good at it. So I believe in her skills and um, I just need her to read through it all. And then I gave her the pattern because I know her and I don't, I don't have to be like professional. I gave her the pattern without pictures in it um, because I need to take pictures. So I started taking pictures uh, for the pattern with this one. And then I realized that I was going to do back, I was going to do black fins and black is really hard to see any of the stitches um and for someone who's reading this pattern for the first time or like may struggle with you know doing chains i don't know um it just might not be the best color to take pictures and like show as a demo so i'm going to have to make another fish <laughs> um and i want to do that today so I basically want to, as I'm making it, I'm going to be taking pictures. I have it sectioned off of where I need to take a picture for it. So like for eye placement, fin placement, stuff like that. Um, and then I'll just have an extra fish to sell at my market. So I'm going to time how long it takes me to make one of them. Um, but I feel like I want to time it like consecutively. And if I'm taking pictures, I'm going to have to pause. Maybe I'll make two. 
Why do I do this to myself? In plan change, um, I'm gonna be making two more fish, I think. <laughs> one to take pictures with, which I'll do that first, and then the pattern's set. And then the second one, I'm gonna time to see how long it takes me. Um, and maybe like see how much material it takes, I don't know, for selling. Uh, Cause it's like hand size, a little bit bigger. Uh, so I feel like I'd price these at like 12, 13, but I don't know how long it actually takes because you do have to sew on all the fins um the body is one piece but the nice thing about the sewing is that it's only like four stitches that you have to put together like for the the r or the fin for the pectoral fin um there's only like four stitches at the end of it so it's really not that much sewing or it shouldn't take that much time um so enough with the beta fish i want to get this done so then once my friend finishes pattern testing and if, you know, there's like small changes I need to make, I can quickly do it and then I can upload it to my Etsy um, because I want to like consistently be putting out new stuff for my Etsy that are, you know, more crochet patterns because that's what does well for me. The next thing I want to work on is another pattern for the banana cat hat, which is now on the floor. <laughs> So I started writing that one up as well, and I took some pictures of Sushi, which I know I'm biased because she's technically like my cat, but I think she might be the cutest cat I've ever seen in my entire life, and I've seen a lot of cats. So um, she was the model for my pictures. Look at the pictures for the pattern. <laughs> it is so cute. She looks like, look at her little hat with the banana. Like that might be the cutest cat I've ever seen. And if you disagree, you're wrong. So I think this pattern is going to take me a while and I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it tonight. I'm trying to make multiple sizes. So basically this was customized for my cat, right? So the ear length, the base and all of that. Um, and Sushi's pretty small. Like she has like a baseball size head. <laughs> I reached out to some of my friends and um, family members and was like, hey, could you measure um, your cat for me? Thank you. And so I got some like generic measurements back. And so Sushi is definitely on the smaller side, but I want to give like an extra small, small, medium, and large option. This will be targeted for like cats and then small dogs. Um, I do give the option to like make your own sizing. Like I kind of guide you through it of like how to do it, but you wanted to make this for like a large dog you could it's just going to take a little bit longer um but i hope that the pattern kind of guides you through it if you need to so um but if your cat or your small dog or whatever fits through the measurements of my extra small through large then perfect then you don't have to change anything because i will write everything out for you so for so far the checklist i need to make two beta fish one beta fish to take pictures of the other beta fish to time to see how long it takes me and then finish up that pattern and have it set and then i need to start writing up the second pattern for the banana i think i'm gonna stop there for like giving myself tasks just in case uh i give up <laughs> so i will get working on the beta fish I like it's like permanently stuck so just a little update um it is currently three o'clock now and I just started crocheting um I this is my first little fish you see the little cheeks forming um because I started to get into a rabbit hole of looking for future markets like possible dates and stuff like that and then apartment hunting and trying to figure out where we're gonna be living um in the next couple months so yeah I kind of got sidetracked but we are now oops we are now locking in um and starting the fish and this is the one that I'm gonna be taking pictures of like as I go so let's see uh Let's see if I stay focused. I feel like I'm not going to be able to get all of this done today. Yeah, so I'm just watching some YouTube. going to crochet this, um, take some pictures as I go. So I will uh, update you after.
So I finished the body. Wow. Wow. So I just have to, um, oh. I have to sew it through, like close off the hole and put the little st strand through. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, but man, I don't usually sit at this de table when I crochet and because uh, my posture is terrible as is but my butt <laughs> hurts so bad i'm gonna get butt sores i gotta i gotta move or something um i have seen recently like a lot of people crocheting while they're on like a walking pad like the little treadmill thing that like folds it down um i don't know i would i don't know how people do that i would be on the ground because i would have fallen off i cannot focus but it looks a little suspicious when it's like this. <laughs> um, anyways. Starting to get a little dark out. Luckily, I've taken like majority of the pictures. Um, they're just gonna eventually go down in lighting and I'll just turn on the overhead light, uh, which just gives it a yellow hue that I'm not a huge fan of. But this is where I'm at so far. So I decided to do green for the like accent color um and so i have the top fin bottom fin and then one of the side fins so i just need to sew on the side other side fin and then the two tail fins um and as you can see in the background someone came to visit she is done napping see sushi say hi you say hi um yeah so sushi's a celebrity around these parts of town no big deal. She's just a little kitty cat. And she's very sweet in like the mornings. And she's like biting me right now. I'm like, she's a perfect cat. Like never bites. Who's that? Someone's at the door. Oh, it was the people below us. Um, but yeah, so it's funny because in the cowboy hat video I have on my Instagram, it went... It has like a million over a million views now and majority of the comments were positive like everyone thought it was funny like tagging other people like you gotta make this for your cat whatever but there were a couple comments that were like it's obvious the cat doesn't like it like first of all her name's sushi and they kept calling her a boy and i was like but yeah they were like i don't think she enjoys that like maybe we shouldn't do that and i just didn't comment back like i wanted to be like um she runs my house 24 7 and she gets like princess treatment um so she can wear a hat for 10 seconds that i take off instantly like she doesn't she's also the type of cat to like let me know that hey i don't want to be doing this um so like even in the end of the video you can see her like starting to shake her head uh because she wants it off and then i'll just take it off right away um so yeah, people can just relax. Everyone has something to say. But like, literally, look at this cat tree that we have for her. I don't know, my hand is shaking, but it is massive. It takes up that whole corner. Um, and, but we got it because we love her and that she deserves some, some height in this apartment. So um, yeah, that's my little rant of like, I'm, I swear. I'm a good cat mom like i would die for her if she dies i die okay <laughs> um all right so i'm gonna just keep sewing keep sewing these guys and then um i should be done i'm starting to get into the headspace of being like <laughs> i don't want to fucking do this anymore <laughs> um so i have to kind of like maybe get myself amped up oh I gotta get myself amped up again. And my forehead's really itchy right now because of this hat. So I keep going like this, which is probably great for my skin. And I'm probably gonna have wrinkles. Maybe I should like go outside. I feel a little, <laughs> nah, no, I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, look at, um, look at this little turtle I made. And it's freaking butt cheeks. This is, I can't think of the name. It's like Trunk the Turtle or something like that. Um, it's a free pattern on Instagram. 
it comes with a shell i just haven't made it yet so maybe after i'm done with the one fish i will switch to something else and then go back and make a second fish and time it i don't know i like said so much in the beginning that what i wanted to do and now i'm like i don't want to do that <sighs> okay so i just finished the fish and it is currently 5.45 and I am done. Like, I do not want to do any more crochet anymore. So I think I'm going to go to the gym. And then afterwards, if I feel motivated, I might crochet. But I probably won't record until tomorrow just because, like, the lighting's going to be really bad. Um, so, yeah. So... When I was all positive earlier and saying that I was going to do a million things. <laughs> Meh. Me, never mind. So it's one o'clock. It is the next day. Um, yesterday, after I went to the gym, I started to feel a little bit more motivated. And I ended up taking all the pictures, editing them, and uploading them to my pattern. And now it is officially done um so that's super exciting i just have to wait to see what my friend says about the pattern um i'm kind of debating if i want to reach out to some people um that i know pattern test and just be like hey could you do this but i also am impatient and just kind of want to get this uploaded um so it's kind of a back and forth of like i mean i've tested this now this is my fourth one yes it's my own pattern so i understand my writing um but i feel like it makes sense and if i have one other person saying it makes sense then i'm kind of like okay i'll just post it um but then i run the risk of like oh it actually doesn't make sense here is a zero star review on etsy so um but for today because now we have that offer plate I know I said yesterday I wanted to crochet a fish and like see how long it takes me. Um, I think I might postpone that. I definitely want to make that for uh, like an Instagram reel kind of like promoting the pattern but I don't want to promote it yet until it's been uploaded so then you don't have to like wait and be like oh like is this available and be like no not yet like come back at the certain date. So um so yeah so i i'll show you what it looks like it's a little finished beta fish ended up naming him fred the fish and because i didn't want to call this like a beta fish because then i was like oh i could do like a b name to play off of like like bob the beta fish or something like that so it flows basically isn't like i used a beta fish for inspiration but like beta fish fins are way bigger than this um so I didn't want to like say it and then someone's like that looks like a goldfish and I'm gonna be like yeah I know <laughs> so we're just gonna call it a fish and so that's done and so for today I need to crochet a little whale bag and I am using ETM studio uh there um, it's on YouTube Yep, and it's a free pattern. Two of my friends that I'm seeing tomorrow, um, they are gonna get one of these. So uh, I'm just gonna crochet that today. I definitely can get it done. What else? I wanna do that and then maybe, maybe the, I don't actually know how long it will take me to make this. It's only a 20 minute tutorial, um, which is a good sign. I don't know if I have felt that would like go. So I'm going to make one blue and then one pink. Um, and the idea is like you put like an AirPod case into it or something like that. So let me, let me go, let me go get some yarn. All right. This is like the perfect blue color that matches the video. So I'm going to use that one. And then this is going to be for the pink. It's another like super dreary day. So looks like we have to stay inside again um i love a good excuse makes me feel good 
I finally got clover hooks because I got yelled at for um, not having ergonomic hooks. So I invested in them and they are so nice. Like I was working with, I think they're the Susan Bates ones. I want to say that's right. Um, which are fine. Like I used them for like one year and a half, two years. And, um, but they get like caught like you can like feel the yarn like not sliding through and these are so smooth i if i knew this <laughs> i probably would have gotten them earlier it was the biggest thing was i just like didn't want to spend the money because they are expensive and like if you go to um michael's the susan bait hooks are like a couple dollars for one of them um but i have been feeling like my hands are starting to get sore like I'm actually starting to feel the effects of like how much I've been crocheting which probably isn't the best but um this is definitely helping also if you hear crunching that is sushi eating her kibble her kibbies as we call them yeah we have a good time over here you know <laughs> you guys, I'm pretty proud of myself so I actually so I put myself on a yarn band um as one does and I actually have not broken it yet. Um, I feel like it's been, it's gotta be at least a month. Like it, it's been good because I have a huge stockpile of yarn and I just need to go through it because I don't wanna get any more before moving out. Um, sorry, I keep looking over there cause I'm staring at my yarn. I'm like, I need more, I need it either way. I've been doing a good job with my yarn band. Um, the only thing is that I have a custom order for uh, a bag. Like a, I'm going to be doing like ladybug granny squares and then flower granny squares. Um, my aunt wants one and which I've actually never made a bag. So we'll see how that goes. But I think I'm going to need to buy actual like acrylic yarn. All right. Let me, I need a, focus so i am like i probably have spent like at least half an hour on this because i had to frog it two or three times so the tutorial is not like the best um i think like just the stitch numbers are off like with the actual like written and what she's saying um and i like look through the comments and like people seem to be having the same issue because i feel like i usually i can crochet like any pattern without issue um did i say issue twice i don't know but a lot of people were like saying like i feel like i have extra chains whatever so I'm kind of just rolling with it and I get the general idea of what it's doing. Um, I typically don't, so these are all like half double crochet or these are all double crochets um, when I typically work with like single crochets. So because you're working from a, like a foundation chain and it just gives you a bigger product like faster. So, I mean, it's working now that I've like figured out like, okay, I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it. Yeah. So this is also like, this came out like 11 days ago. So I think I would assume like there might be an updated video because of how many comments are being like, um, I feel like something's off, but it's still like a really cute pattern. And I think I'm still gonna get the end result that I want. It's just not, um, like you can't follow it to a T and this says it's a beginner friendly pattern. So um, I think there was just like an error in writing or something, but um, hopefully it gets fixed because like this is such a great idea to have. So essentially like the tail is what closes in on the AirPods um, and it gives it that like tapered look. So it's a really cute idea and like, I mean, she executes it so I don't know like if it's maybe it is just me and I'm just having a mental breakdown which <laughs> let's not count that out but yeah so that's where we're at right now I'm now like just going around um with double crochets just to increase the length um 
So I'll just be doing that for the next like 20 minutes probably. Okay, I'm I'm standing up right now because I want to show you what I've been doing to make this feel um, less repetitive. So this is what I have so far. Um, I definitely am using a... Oh my god, I keep hitting the mic. I'm definitely using a thicker acrylic yarn than what the tutorial's using. So I had to cut down on the amount of rounds that like you go up, which is fine because like... So I have my AirPods right here and I was like, okay, well... It's a little big, but I mean, if you're cinching this, like, I feel like it's perfect. So I'm going to stick with that. But what I've been doing is that I'll like walk across the apartment and then have this long tail of yarn. And then I'm like, all right, let's see how fast I can go. And then I like take a step every time. All right. Don't judge me. Okay. There's over here. And I have a long tail. See, look how much fun that is, you know? Um, I'm going crazy. Awati. So I have officially finished it. Um, I actually really think that these, I like that I should make these for markets. Um, I think once I like get the hang of how the patterns pattern is written, that I can kind of adjust it um, depending on like what kind of yarn I use, whatever. But so I just need to felt, I'm going to felt, um, bro, what am I trying to say? I'm, I'm going to cut out felt, like white spots to put on it. And then in the like actual video, it had, uh, the whale had like a little starfish on it and stuff like that. So I might add that. The only thing is that the only felt color I have that isn't like neutral is a yellow um like i don't have like a pink or an orange which i think would be cuter for like a sea star or something so we'll see maybe i'll have to go to michael's and you know just take a gander just take a gander i'm just gandering all right all right um but yeah so i'm gonna so this is technically not finished but it's basically there um i also because like it's obviously not stuffed when I put the safety eyes on, I melted the bottoms of it. So I just took a lighter, melted it, and then like squished it. Um, so it has like a round edge so it won't catch on the opposite side. So like when you close it, it's not gonna like push through. And so I just need to make one more. I need to make a pink one. And then I will cut out some white felt circles, put those on, and then debate on if i should get some felt in color i don't know i don't know we'll see but yeah that's the update so it's a couple hours later um and like you know i was saying i was on a yarn ban um i may or may not have just placed an order for joanne's but but i actually need this yarn for a custom order um so and then i got you know i had to get like a couple other things because you know oh my no but it's gonna get used and it's for an order so i had to get it and i need to get it the order done it's for a crochet bag tote bag so i'm getting some lily sugar and cream and then she's rubbing up against the mic stand um and then i have to i mean i didn't have to but i had to like felt like get a couple extra colors just for bandanas and stuff like that but i do have an idea of like i want to make a bee themed bandana put it on sushi and then make a bee themed cowboy hat and put that on instagram because i feel like people would like that so yeah, so I'm gonna have to go to Joanne's, I guess. I don't know why I look hungover. Um, I think it's because I put on makeup yesterday and I don't think I took it off all the way and it might have like irritated me. I also have three red dots and it's because I tried to cuddle Sushi and she bit my lip. <laughs> um, 
yeah anyway so we'll just ignore that and ignore this so maybe just blur the face it is i think like two days later from whatever i recorded it doesn't really matter but um i ended up finishing those two whales and i gave them to my friends and they loved them um i had gone to michael's and i got felt so i was able to uh now like gl glue the spots on and then do like little stars but i also got a bunch of pastel colors just so i have them now um and i also found at michael's in the clearance section because one thing about me i'm gonna be walking through that clearance section all right and i'm gonna be trying to make any excuse of things i need because it's a good deal and i found these like little charms and i was like okay i'm only gonna get them if I find both their like initials and I ended up finding them and so I put like their initial on the outside and it was because it came in a pack of two so I put their initial on the outside and then the other person's initial on the inside and um I just thought that was like really cute and they were supposed to be two dollars and then they rang up as 50 cents and I was like should I go back and get all of them I ended up not because well, I would have if I was alone, but I was with my boyfriend and he was telling me like, just because if it's a, it's a good deal, it doesn't mean you have to buy it because I have that issue. And also I think that it would become too personalized if I like sold bags at markets, like those little AirPod cases and, or like, I would just call them trinket bags, uh, if anything. Um, but that if they had letters on it, then they're going to like people aren't going to be able to buy it unless it, that's their initial or whatever does that make any sense i don't know for the yarn i got at joann's that i had placed an order for um so i got i originally said i was going to do acrylic yarn for the bag but then i was doing some research and people said that cotton yarn is more sturdy and less likely to like break apart so i really like uh, lily sugar and cream so i got that so I, this color is in Sonoma, Sonoma, I don't know. I got two skeins of this and this is going to be like the base color, like the background of the daisies. And then I got one thing of yellow and then one thing of white. And so that's all for like the actual bag. And then I ended up just getting uh, a skein of black because I mentioned I wanted to do a like bumblebee themed uh, bandana and cowboy hat for sushi. So uh, I got that. Like, it's just funny that I was talking about the yarn band and I was like so confident. I was like, I haven't broken it. Like all you people who put yarn bands on yourself and you break it, like you're weak. Mm -hmm. um, I, over the last like two days, cause I think I haven't recorded in two days. Um, I've made five scrunchies. Wow. Um, and this is how you would want to wear it. Um, I think this is a really good look. I crocheted two little stingrays and then I started working on a custom order for a cowboy hat. Um, it is for like the, uh, what's it called? The cow print one. So I have the hat done little cowboy hat um and i just need to cut out felt and glue it on i think that's gonna i don't have anything else and i think that's just gonna wrap up this little shindig because it's gonna be long and i'm sorry about that i know some people are into longer videos i personally am um i like to watch them while crocheting so if it's like eight minutes long then i'm gonna have to find another video and then it's like a whole cycle so um let me know if this was too long <laughs> i hate doing like intros and outros i feel so awkward like like comment subscribe i think i'm just gonna hard cut it uh are you okay with that like i'm just gonna like slowly just okay bye bye mama bye